Ladies and gentlemen, people, we have six friends. Count them once you have six friends at the table, friends today. Please tell me, Sean, give me one. Me too. Alpha, all right. That is going to be the symbol for the fourth one we're going to add today. Alpha. Alpha stands for what? Uh, per Angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. What are the dimensions for angular acceleration, Denner? Um, meters per second squared. Meters per second squared? Angular acceleration? Benedict, help me up. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Not gonna. No, it's all right. No. Juliana? Just radians per second squared. Angular acceleration is just in terms of angular stuff. So it just works out to be radians per second squared. The equation for angular acceleration, fishy thing equals what, Edward? Um, G and G and Omega. Great. Five more friends to add. Please give me one. Um, Tangential velocity is number five. Tangential velocity. Symbol for tangential velocity, Goolsby? Um, velocity, the velocity of the Just V sub t, yep. Velocity tangential, V sub t. Dimensions for tangential velocity, Claire? Um, It's just a linear velocity. It's a linear velocity when you're moving in a circle, so it is in linear dimensions. Uh, J, the equation for tangential velocity. Um, uh, R times uh, angular acceleration. Like that? Oh, wait, whoops, sorry. Um, R times uh, omega. So again, I can't reiterate it enough. The issue, one of the major issues today is that there are so many new symbols, right? So you have to keep track of these symbols. Four more, that's what we're helping you do right now. Kaiser, give me another one. Uh, Sorry, Sandra, do you have a question? No. Okay, Kaiser. And then, uh, and then, and then say acceleration. No, okay, we're gonna work on it. Tangential, class, say the word. Tangential. Tangential. Okay, you wait till we get centripetal acceleration, which equals tangential velocity squared divided by the radius. We're going to work on that one. That'll be fun. Okay, here we go. Tangential acceleration. Kaiser, the symbol? Um, acceleration of t. Subscript of a t. Dimensions, Kaiser? Um, meters over second squared. And the equation? Uh, acceleration sub. I'm sorry, radians? Times symbol. Could I please have the cell phone to keep beeping? It's like the third time I've heard it. Am I the only one who's heard it? Three more to add to our table of friends. Lunar, give me another one. It is an angular velocity. Angular velocity. Uh, symbol for angular velocity, Rick. Omega. Omega. Dimensions for angular velocity, Puja. Um, Uh, well, it could be revolutions per minute, revolutions per second, revolutions per minute is more common. And the one we're going to use is this here. RPM. Uh, that is actually uh, revolutions per minute. It is RPM. Oh, oh sorry. Radians per second? Great. Radians per second. The equation for angular velocity. Uh, Lauren. Um, Omega equals 
dot uh, data We have two more friends to add to our table. Uh, friends, Edward? Angular displacement. Angular displacement is the second one. The symbol for angular displacement will be it. Um, delta theta. Delta theta. Dimensions for angular displacement. There are a whole bunch, three that I can think of for angular displacement. Mandy, give me all three. Um, M meters. No, not for angular displacement. That would be for a linear displacement, it would be in meters. Adam, help him out. Uh, degrees and radians. We could have degrees, we could have radians. What is the third one, man? These should, these should all kind of flow out all together. Um, okay. Revolution. Revolutions, right? Revolutions, degrees, radians. Revolutions. What is the equation for angular displacement delta theta equals what? Uh, Edward. Oh, well, theta final minus theta. Good. The last of our uh, to add to our table of friends here is what? Benedict. Uh, the very top. Somehow going backwards through today. There's one more left. Benedict's not seeing it. Help him out, Sandra. Arc length. symbol for arc length is what, Carol? Um, lowercase s. It is uh, just an s. I do use a lowercase cursive s. Dimensions on arc length. Uh, Julianne? Radiance. It's actually not in radians. Arc length is a linear distance traveled when moving in a circle. Meters? Just meters, right? It's a linear distance, which is going to be meters. And the equation for arc length is what, Loki? Uh, not L times theta. In a specific case, it would be L. Arc length, yes. If you're going to be in my room, you're going to be answering questions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> radius. Radius, S equals R times theta. I cannot stress it enough. The main issue is there are so many new symbols. Look at what we just added to the table of friends. There's all sorts of new stuff. Please make sure that you understand which one is which. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.